PC power supplies. There's different types, different sizes, different ratings and everything. So, what I've got here is a brand spanking new one, 750 watt power supply, which I paid less than 20 quid for. Now I know it's good quality because it's got a red fan. Must be good. Put that aside. Screws, you don't need them. Now on here, with this this label that's um, not quite stuck on very well, it's quality you see. They do that so as you can just take it all off and it leaves a nice black surface. So on this one you'll see that the output for it is uh, where are we now? 12 volt, 38 amps. Now this one is to replace this one. Now this has been working um, fine um, as long as I don't want to charge anything at very high current. So one consideration to make is when you get a power supply, this one is actually I think it's a 350 watt power supply um, and it only does 12 amps on 12 volt. So with this, if I have four batteries, all I can actually use is three amps each, making a total of 12 amps before that cuts out. So with this one, because I've got 38 amps, is it? 38 amps, I can charge to my heart's content. Now there's two ways you can do it, you can do it the quick way or the professional way. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to keep that label very safe somewhere. First thing I'll do is show you the quick way. On every ATX power supply, uh, you've got all these leads obviously. Let's get rid of that. You want this wire and any other black wire. Purely, it doesn't matter which one, any of them, but that's your main wire that you want, which is the green one. In case you're colourblind, it's right next to the black. <laughs> so, what you do, you get this green wire, which is the sense wire, and you get a black wire, it doesn't matter which one, and all you do is you get a jumper of some kind, and you plug it in there like that. And that's it. That power supply will then come on. Now any of these red wires here, any wire, any of the red ones are 5 volt. And any of these yellow ones, those two, you've got wires on here as well, they're all 12 volts. The rest of them, you can cut them off, get rid of them. So that's the crude way. Now. I'm not going to power this up purely because there's a load of caps on there which I don't want charged because I'm going to put my fingers in it. What I'm going to do is the Tony way and make it look professional. So the first thing I'm going to do is take all the casing off um, and then I'm going to put some connectors on there so as I can make it look professional. I've taken the top case off, uh, I've decided that this is going to sit on its side, so this is going to be sitting like that. Now the only place I can actually get any connectors or anything is on the top here, which will then become the side. Well that way, don't know yet. So I've got some of these banana um, test um, sockets, so they go in there like that, and then you, these things will go on to your charger. So these things have got to go through the case. So what I've got to do is drill a few holes to put these through there, and then I can attach them on the back. It's not the best of jobs, but it'll do. So now what I'm going to do is connect, oh you've got to do the obligatory cut your finger on the bloody metal job. 
So what I'm going to do is the negative and the positives and I'm going to use these for 5 volts. Although it, it doesn't tally up with the wiring, it doesn't matter. I know they're 5 volts. It's not the tidiest, but you know it'll do. This thing is it's so flimsy, but anyway. So on here, I'm going to pull this wire out of here somehow off camera. Pull this wire out of here, cut the wires, and then I'm going to short the the green with a negative like that in here. And then I'm going to wire all these up. Simple. It's all back together. So I've got the, the charger um, plugged into obviously the power supply now. I've got my uh, 12 volt rails here and they're the earth. And then I've got 5 volt here in case I need it. So, one word of warning these power supplies leave them to discharge for 24 hours before you actually take the top off because the voltages in there can kill you believe me they can obviously make sure it's unplugged make sure it's turned off for 12 uh, 12 months <laughs> 24 hours so we have power now I don't think this thing will actually charge at 5 amps at 14.8 at, at, uh, volts or 4, 4S but yeah it only goes to 3 3.3 amps so there you go there is your PC power supply converted to a nice power supply for your LiPo charger. And like I say, that's going to sit like that. So it's absolutely perfect. Job done. This is a um, very high quality one. F bollocks is it. PC power supplies. You can get very, 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 very f what? It's one consideration you need to make is um, how powerful you want the power supply and what am I f talking about now? You plug it in the green hole and then you... This is basically a sense wire. Uh, this wire uh, is it just detects a short basically. Basically, basically, f basically.